Welcome back to Kingdom Death Monster. We are in year 28 of our 30 year campaign, and you're still watching us. And we. It's gonna come out on Friday! Yes, we are on track to get this out on Friday to get back to. Routine. Routine. This year, we are fighting a level 3 Slenderman. Uh, we are gonna be sending some people out. It would be great if we defeat them. Sure, Absolutely. Course. That's we, our goal. We might gain some iron from it. Oh, really? That's probably the only good thing. Okay. Uh, actually, we want to beat them because we want to gain the endeavors. That's really important. So if, if people lose, we won't have endeavors for the right. year. Is oof. Wow. I if really everybody dies, do we get one for cooking? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, Let's we do. Let's hope we're not there. All right, uh, some few other things I want to bring up. Uh, if it's not out already when this video is out, I'm, and I'm, I'm forcing her to do this. Um, it's not going to be. Relax. It may. Andrew and I are going to start another series for this game that we just got, the Choose Your Own Adventure House of Danger. You mean the game you bought without telling me until I got here? Yes. Great. That one. So I love those games. I believe it's only five chapters five chapters long. It's about an hour each. So, you know, this is a series that we're actually gonna be able to finish. <laughs> well, so is this. That's right. So that's two. Two down. Yeah, so hopefully we can we can We do finished that. Near and Far. We did finish. And, and we far. finished the horrible game that I hated. Oh, you know what? I love that game. I hated it. Seven Even continent? though I got to be the Russian, Seven I hated continent? it. I don't know why you didn't like that game. It's well, so I good. liked being the Russian, but that's about it. And that's why we're not putting out another video. Because I don't like it. <sighs> I didn't like that game. Of all the games, I'm sorry. I'm thinking... I love I all might, games. I might, because you're so busy, I might start doing my own series. Good, do it. Um, I might actually do Legends of Andor, actually. I have got all why of them. Why don't you do a game that I hate? Like another Seventh Continent? Yeah. Do you guys want to see more Seventh Continent? Let us know. He'll do, do it by himself. people still watching Kingdom Death at this episode? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, we started Near Far again with our two friends with the new Amber Mines expansion. So that was cool. So we started that today. Yeah, because I'm sick of seeing the same um, people that come out. So it was great to see new cards and new, um, what are they called? Um, not workers. I don't know. Your team? You recruit. Re recruiters, yeah. yeah. Okay, final thing before we get into this. Uh, I don't even think I talked to you about this yet either. Uh, you're like you're like the manager. I should I should throw this by you first. Yeah, so I'm the CEO and CFO, but it seems like my underlings are just taking the F out of... You're just financial. So we're going to do another giveaway. Oh. For the final episode. What are we going to give away? There is a game that I have prepared. That we don't like, so you're going to get it. No, it's not it. It's one of the games I don't want to play, so you guys are going to get no, it. No, actually... We're going to wrap up Seventh Continent. It's going... First, I'm not going to say what the game is. Um, I'm going to leave it then out who there. who cares? Well, hold on a second. Okay. Hold on a second. If you watched the last campaign, the second to last episode, I, I said how you could enter yourself into winning. So that's not yet. That will be in next week's episode. I'll, I'll describe that a little bit more. Or maybe the following. I don't know. And you're going to decide if we win or lose, and then I roll off at the end during the live event. And then we'll give the game away. Okay. 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 This, I don't know why I'm just, just throwing this out there. I'm going to give clues in each episode to what the game is. Oh. So the first person that guesses the game correctly, you get one guess per episode, I guess you could say, um, all it does is when you uh, enter to win the contest, you're going to get two entries. That's it. Something simple. I just, you know, why not? Just to people, keep people guessing. So the clue for this week, I guess maybe there's two, um, I think it has to, it doesn't have to do with Kingdom Death Monster, but like, they're kind of... There's some similarities, and it's a second edition 
First person to guess that, it's really not much to go by. Uh, and then if you enter the contest, you'll get two entries okay, instead of one. Okay, okay, okay. That clue sucked. It's sort of like Kingdom Death Monster, and it's second edition. Like, those were two pretty poor clues to form, like, 75% of a clue. Sorry, guys. I know. He didn't run this by CEO before rolling it out. So now we're going to show you who the four characters are going out to beat the Slenderman. You guys will get a better clue next week. We'll see. Someone's probably going to guess it. Yeah, okay. Oro, the father of words. He's coming out. But if you remember, Oro only has one arm. So we are going to use the regenerating blade before we go out in the fight and archive it in order for him to be able to use the two-handed axe. Okay. He will be carrying little shield and wearing the warlord armor set. Now, Oro. The great thing about him is spiral ganglia. So he gets this darkness awareness card. And when people gain disorders, you get to put tokens on it. Three disorders come out to people and then someone gets a secret fighting art. Yes. That's why he's here. That's why he's coming out because he might not make it back. Uh, let's see. What else does he have? Anything else that's important? Nah. Mighty Strike. Mighty Strike, Timeless Eye. Otherworldly cool. Luck. What's that? Plus Settlement. One. Oh, yeah. He's always the one that gets the plus one. Yeah. So we really don't want him to die. No, I because... think we have someone else that has Otherworldly Luck. Yes, though. we do. Okay. Next, um, the person carrying the bow will be Dionysus. She is going to be wearing the Dancing Armor set. She has the nice shield. Um, upgraded Monster Grease. So she's going to be our evasion, per evasion person. Hopefully dodging. Um, remember, she's got the one, the leader fighting art, and she's at 15 survival, so she'll be the one hopefully shouting to get people up that get knocked down. I will be playing Juno. She's coming out uh, with the Zambato. It's not upgraded, though, meaning you know, it only has it only I does one wound. Been Juno. That's my girl. Oh. Well, that's okay. No, absolutely. I would love to switch. No. I would love to switch. No. Okay. Don't, don't lie. Uh, she's got a lot of armor because she's got the the beacon shield here. Um, you know, eight and sevens. Uh, she's her main purpose is bandages, really bandages, and maybe being able to hit with a zambato once. Uh, then we've got Laka, who's going out with the uh, lantern set. Uh, she has this acmophobia where she can't go out with uh, sharp objects, which is why she's going out with the club. So between the cat eye circlet and the club, hopefully we can go out there and, and do Juno some damage. Juno gets to um, have the new upgrade oxidized shield that we did last yes, time, right? Yes, you're right. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, we got the right affinity so we don't lose movement points. That's something that actually in the last game we didn't account for. Oh it was Pele, but Pele had extra movement. He had six, so technically he, he would have been down to four. So we still could have done his momentum. So... Nothing, nothing bad there. Uh, all right, so a level three Slenderman. This is the, that's the board. Very bare. Yeah. A level three Slenderman has plus two accuracy, so that's going to hurt for our evasion tank. Plus two damage, plus two speed, and plus one luck, meaning that that kind of cancels out one of our lucks. So um, you know, critting unless you have luck, Which you know, mine don't. Oh I don't boy, think critting does. on a ten still does a wound, but it doesn't make it a critical. critical. Right. That's rough. Um, the one new thing is hounds. So we do start, all of our insanity gets reset back down to zero, but any survivor that has 15 or more insanity during the fight instantly dies. Oh, yeah, so scary. That's what you were keeping from me. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So we've got ensnare, which becomes even worse. So we do minus four to our roll when that happens. Uh, so yeah, uh, we do get one random terrain card. Oh, so can gosh. you grab that? Has, has it been shuffled? Uh, no, I'll probably shuffle it up. Okay. You're pulling, I'm pulling. You are. And what would be the best? Actually, tall grass, right? So we could uh, have extra I don't know. Evasion. See, he moves all over the board, right? And then to the uh, corners. So I don't really it know. Might, it's not going to work. Would, oh, we have a again, bug? Yeah. Iron Mine or Dead Monster would be the best. Not Toppled Pillar. I pulled two cards. 
Well, I'm going to do the giant stone face. That's what we saw. That is what we saw. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? How did I pull the dead monster out of the deck twice? Maybe you should have rolled. I think I should have rolled. Okay. Call it. This is one through five. This is six through ten. That yeah, was meant to be. It was meant to be a giant stone face. Giant stone face. Do we get an add to one face. because Oro's here? No. no. Come on, Oro's here. No. That would have been cool, but no. Oh, giant stone face. Alright, so we'll set it up and uh, let's see if we can outlast the Slenderman. Get him out of here. Ready? Are you nervous? Level three Slenderman? I forget this what the Slenderman even does. I just remember when we fought him the second time. We were like, there's no way we're beating a third one. But we're stronger now. Uh-huh. Uh, so let's find out. So we get to start first, because he came to our settlement. And we're going to have Laka start with the power die, because if uh, I can roll high enough, this is going to allow me to trigger some extra attacks in here. Mm -hmm. All right, so should I, should I start by rolling this? Or right, let's, let's, let's move. Why don't you move her? Let's move. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So we start in the very corners, which is why you're really far away from the board today. Mm -hmm. And then if I moved another five, one, two, three, four, five, I would be one, two, three, four, five away in order to hit with reach. So I need to roll five or more to make it there. Six. There you go. That's it. So I will be dashing the horse. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course. Awesome tokens, by the way. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then I get to add six. One, two, three, four, five. I'll go there. So, it is reach. Attack from there. And before I attack, I'm actually going <coughs> to. Hey, man, you want... did you want to shuffle? Mm -mm. Did you shuffle? I did. I'm going to leave it. All right. I'm going to headband. Mm hmm. I thought that was a trap I right thought away. That was a trap. Black. Yeah. All right. Uh, memory loss. So yeah, we forget what these hit locations do. Let's look at memory loss. You suddenly find yourself. Uh, but the attacker attacker gains three insanity. If you have blotted out fighting art, gain plus three strength. We need to have to win this location. I don't no think one anyone out. has blotted out anymore. Diana. So that's not going to be good. Plus three insanity. Wound the Slenderman. Minus two toughness and reactions are canceled. At the end, until the end of the attack. Hmm. You're only going to get hit with one. Place the Slenderman at the center of the showdown board. Cancel all hits now out of range. I don't like that. So we're going to put... Actually, we're going to put... Slenderman in the center. We're going to put this, the, the memory lapse second. So, so if I pull two... It? Yeah, it will cancel the second one. Okay. So I don't want to get that extra three insanity, right? Right. Okay, I get <clears throat> two attacks... Hit on sevens, because it's club, six, five, four, plus one accuracy. Two attacks, and on fours. Whoa. Right? Oh, I have to surge to do this, by the way. Oh, okay, great. I know which one the surge one is. That's it. Two hits. Holy cow. We're going to do the solar, solar plexus. plexus. All right, so it has 17 toughness, but with this hammer... It's hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's our die? Keep track of the wounds. Look over on that side. Oh my goodness, you're right. Look in the cup holders. There's a blue one and a green one over here. Okay. I'll be right back. We should probably get those, because there's nothing over here. Where's the orange one? Hey, we've been using the orange one to roll off. Yeah, and one of the cats probably kicked it out of the couch. I'm just going to sit here and look pretty until he gets back. We were playing near and far, and that's when we used it to roll off, which means it should be in this room because that's where we played. Check that cup holder. We're going to use these. Yeah. Let's change it up a little, right? Why not? How much health does he have? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, 21. Okay. 12. We don't get there, do we? And 10. Oh. That's 22. Yeah. Nine. Nine. Bam. Right? Right. 
We'll make it work. The Slenderman staggers when you wound. Well, I haven't wounded him yet. Okay. So I have 13 strength plus 2, so that's 15. I need a 2 to wound. And I'm sharp, so that's definitely a wound. Until the end of the attack, the monster suffers minus 2 toughness, and all reactions are canceled. Actually, has, I cancel all reactions in this attack, so it doesn't really do anything. Hmm. Right, because that's what the, the club does. Mm -hmm. When you wound and your attack, cancel reactions. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, he has... Oh, he only has six movement. Okay, six. Okay. All right, hey. Good start. Now we can actually get up there. One, two, three, four, five. If you dash, one, two, three, four... Okay. And then attack with Oro with that axe. Dash. The horse. Got it. Alright. Let's get these okay. attacks. Okay. Oro. Wow. I have not had the father of words before. So it's the axe and I have warlord so I am attacking with three dice. Let's mm -hmm. get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. I'm on the side. It's a five. Cool. Accuracy four. All right. Okay, hitting on fours. We want a nine or a ten on this roll. But ba bam. Okay, well, a only one. But do I get to reroll? Nope, no reroll. No, that's that's to wound. That's to wound. I thought I. Could but you, so you have a perfect hit. I do. So. And I, I gain plus two strength and a perfect hit with mighty strike. And if it's a perfect hit, I have timeless eye. You, you already have timeless eye. Your attack roll is a perfect hit on a 9 or 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a perfect hit. I gain plus 2 strength. Yes. And the weapon, when you get a perfect hit, you get plus the edge 4 strength. It sharpens. Plus 6 strength on this one hit, which is the greater tentacles. So 6. My base strength is 3, so that's 9. And then I get 9 plus 4, 13 plus 2. So my strength is 15. Whoa. You only need a 2 to wound. There it is. 3. Thank goodness. All right. We get 2 details. But again, it doesn't yeah. matter. All right. So that is another wound. I'm going to take it down to a 7. Where's that Zambada with 2 wounds? Not here. Oh. Not here. It's going to be a while. Okay. Uh, okay, but there's a reflex. Ensnare the attacker. What? Target I'm suffers. not close enough. It's just reflex. The tentacles are long enough. You see how long these tentacles are? Look. It's got you. Snared. Uh, it's snared the attack. Place the, the Slenderman at the center of the showdown board. Cancel all hits now out of range. So we're back to there. All right, so in snare. Uh, survivor rolls 1d10. Unless the result is higher than their insanity or lantern 10, they go to a dark place. So can you... Uh... Well, my insanity is zero. Right. Perfect, you're set. For now, that's okay to have. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Another lantern 10. I wish I could use it for that. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I can't get there with Laka, I mean with Juno, but you could probably get up there and start attacking. Mm -hmm. Five. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. You could shoot with the nine shot. Range From here. Nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm you, gonna dash. One, two, three, four, five. How about you come up here, actually? Now you spend an action to get on top. Over here. Over here. Oh, but I da I dashed. You dashed. Okay. And you spend an action so to get on I top. So now I have to surge. Because now you have plus two range. On here. Oh, the mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. Move on to any space like by blah 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 blah. You can go like this. Plus two range and plus two accuracy. One, two, three, four. So now I can just go up there. How's that? Well, how did you get me two more spaces over here? Because when you when you spend an action to climb this, you can go up any space. Oh, okay. Is that all right? Okay, so I'm going to surge now. Yep. So you if you know. can stay up there, you'll be able to shoot. Where are the die? Here, wait. Oh, wait. oh they're here. All okay. right there. Um, this is the bow, so the attack is a three. Six. So hit on fours. Why do I hit on fours? 
because I don't have any accuracy. Oh, right, right, right. I'm hitting on sixes, fours, three attacks, hitting on fours with the Vespertine buff. Right. Holy cow. Now you're crazy, so I think you gain one insanity, which is not good. One, Ugh. two, three. All right. You're right. Super dense. Are you feeling a critical place of five spaces from the attacker as far? Cancel all hits in it. Five spaces from the attacker. Oh, well. So I can't reach him? Attacker gains plus three insanity. Five spaces away from the attacker. The attacker is not in the monster's blind spot. Their entire body seizes up and terror. Attacker is knocked down and gains two insanity. Oh, we're doing that last. Yes. All right, so let's do uh, Filiger Greed. I need to crit? Filig no, you don't need to crit. Uh. It's just plus two toughness. So he's got a 19, 6, 10. 10. Yeah, you need a 9. 9 or 10 is a crit anyway. Let's get it. Okay. That's a failure. Uh, place the monster five spaces away from the attacker as far from other survivors as possible. Hmm... One, two, three, four, five. If he goes there, because if I put him over here, one, two, three, four, nope, five. One, two, three, four, five. He can go like that. That's as far from all the other survivors. Okay. Uh, your next one, uh, the Slender Breachers. Breaches? Okay, we're doing really good tonight. Uh, you gain three insanity for that. Reflex. And then the faceless visions, visage. Visage. Okay. Visage. Visage. Yeah, seven. You get a wound here. Okay, now you roll a critical. Pretty good, actually. So it's a wound. So let's go down to six. So that's 18. Uh, the attack, set the attacks with insanity to zero. I guess that's a good one to crit on. All right, now, again, Juno. You know, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, you know what? I might actually be able to get there with a slam. One, two, three, four, five. And then slam. One, two, three, four, five. I hit. Uh. Hmm. Mm. You can't push him. Oh, yeah, no, I, I do push him. Jason, the. It suffers knockback one and minus one toughness until the end of the round. And I would move here. Okay. So that caused me a dash. And now I'm going to attack with the Zambada. But again, this is not double hits here. So it's one attack hitting on six. Ugh. Hitting on a five. One attack hitting on a five. You can do it. Okay. I don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, hmm. I wonder if I just surged with Did I critically get... wound on the, with the axe? Nope, no. No. Okay. Just checking. Oh, you know what? Did I? You critically wound with the bow here, but it's deadly. So he's got plus one luck, meaning that it negates one of your crits, but because your bow is deadly, you don't crit on 9s and 10s, you only crit on 10s, so we're still okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's um, crazy. I'm going to attempt to attack. I've got all this survival, so okay. I'm going to surge. Six to wound, six to hit. I do. Memory lapse. You suddenly find yourself attacking something you've never seen before. Attacker gains three insanity. I don't. Okay. So this is going to... Three insanity. And now... I need a wound. What do you wound on? Not a one, that's for sure. So failure, ensnare the, the attacker. So ensnare, target rolls 1d10 unless the result is higher than the insanity. They go in their dark place. Oh boy. Seven. Wait, unless the what is higher? Oh, you know what? It's minus four to the roll result because we're fighting level three. So we got to remember that even if you have no insanity, I think... I. I don't know if you can go to the negatives, actually. But, survivors roll 1d10 unless the result is higher than their insanity or lantern 10, dark place. Oh, you rolled a insanity. I lantern. rolled a 10. So, mine's, that's a minus, so 3, so I go to a dark place. No, already. minus a 4. Minus 3. Minus 4. 
minus 4, so it would be a 3. Yeah. And it's equal to your insanity. Right. Yeah, no, it has to be higher than. I have it. Yeah, so we only did what? Two wounds to this guy? Three, Three. wounds? One guy's already in the dark place. Ah, the survivor looks on its horror as black water impassable as black pools surround their feet. They are imprisoned. Suddenly the ground gives way. The survivor is shallowed by an angry portal of dark water sloshing on the ground. Nothing but damp, cold stone remains in their place. As they plummet into a pitch black ocean, slimy leaves lash their panicked, drowning body into the darkness. So I gain the pod imprisonment card. And then set the servant sending to zero and roll a d10. So that's going to be on the... Oh. I wonder if this happens right away. What do you mean? Why wouldn't it? I guess so. Oh, no, 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 no. On the next future turn. turns. Yes, future turns. Okay. So I'm just in a dark place. Wonderful. All right, so it is the monster's turn. Do you go off the board? Uh, yeah, actually, I think so. Okay. I'm over here. Mind scream. Threat with most insanity. So we can pick, because it's We're everybody. We're all at zero. Perform gloom. Uh, remove the Slenderman from the showdown board, then place it adjacent to the target as far as from possible as others. So let's... Dionysus, right, is the evasion? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Evasion 4. Oh. All survivors stand, gain plus 1 in sanity, and full move directly away from the Slenderman. At end of their movement, any survivors with 6 plus insanity are knocked down and gain a bleeding token. So that's not going to happen to us. And then we draw another AI card. So we move away from him. So let's actually do this. Because we can pick. Mm-hmm. So then we can push one, two, three, four, five. He would just go here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We all gain one insanity. Okay. Full move directly away from Slenderman. At end of the movement, it's with six. So no one has six insanity. Correct. Now we draw another AI card. Okay. Do you believe? Threat with least insanity. Again. It's the same. We can pick. Oh, threat with least insanity. Okay, then it would be a random start if not, so yeah, we can pick. Target gains three insanity. Perform gloom, target. Okay, so this is going to go against Dionysus. Okay, so she now has four. Ooh, then ens ensnare the target, yikes. Okay, so it's going to go here. And uh, let's say three attacks plus two speed. Accuracy four, so really two. Okay, so she's got four evasion here. Four, five, six, seven. So seven, eight, nine. So nines to hit. Because you, your Phoenix Helm didn't come into play this game. Because you weren't in Sans. So oh, because I wasn't. Okay, so nines to hit? Five attacks hitting on nine. Two. All right, so this is for six damage a piece. Nine's not supposed to hit you. Body in the hand. Uh, Do I just take them both? No, definitely dodge one. Dodge the body. I'm going to dodge the body. And take six damage to the hand, which is all your armor. Yes. Then ensnare target. So your insanity is what? Four? Four. Okay. Now what happens? You have to roll the die. Oh. And need a 9 or a 10. Oh. Okay. You are imprisoned. Okay. This is not, My this is not looking good already. My insanity goes to zero there, then. Uh, yes. Okay. I guess it will. On, on the future turn, so yeah. Okay. Alright, so new round. Two people are off the who is the circleter? Uh, over here. Okay. Baku. All right. So if we did dark place, we could try to get out. So how do you do that again? You have to roll. Uh, so from an eight, nine, eight, nine or ten or something. You need a six or more. 
or someone could spend an action to suffer an insanity to suffer a disorder and get you out automatically. So you would But run here that. are two main well the two people that are trapped are are not our attackers. Dionysus is the only one that we would want to dodge with. Yeah. But our main attackers So maybe I have Juno try to get out herself. If she gets out, I'm going to have her pull Dionysus out. Okay. How's that sound? Sure. Now do, don't just roll. Make sure that die feels good. It didn't. Is that a Kingdom Death die? Yeah. Yeah, this one's not. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Dark place. Six. Out. Haunted. Place the survivor in an unoccupied corner of the showdown board. Archive their pot imprisonment. They gain one random disorder and a bleeding token. Hey, where's all our stuff? Well, here's a bleeding token. Wow, we weren't we were not ready for this. Uh, a random, random disorder. disorder. Yes, yeah, so we got to put all these. Doing showdown. Whenever survivor including Here. you gains a bleeding token, you are knocked down. Well. Oh, uh, what one is that? That's hemophobia. You're the only one that has that then. Places where I'm not quite, oh, so Which I'm gonna is come. fine, because if I could shout to get you up, then you get plus strength, right? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Give me this. So let me just see. And this guy. Okay. You may spend an action of brain trauma and plunge into the darkness. If you do, you have a status card and place that survey in a non by quarter of the showdown board. Oh, that was silly. So I'm actually going to put myself over here so then I can get you up over there. Hmm. Okay, so do I get a token for my darkness awareness? You do. I could just use a, a money over here, unless you have it easily. Oh, look, I found the little thing. Oh, yeah. Alright, darkness awareness. Okay, that now you're going to pick a disorder. saving grace. Here you go. Alright, so this is for Juno? Yeah. Indecision. You, if you are the event revealer of a hunt event that call you to make a roll, roll twice and use the lower result. Okay, not that bad. Actually, not bad at all. Um, disorders... Great. Okay, so I came in over here. And I am knocked down. Uh, so I'm going to have Laka. Why don't I shout to get... Because you? you're off the board. Oh, you're right. Right? Right? I would say let's have one, two, three, four, five. Poro dash to get up there and get some attacks in. Okay. You don't have much survival, do you? No. Did we circle it? Not yet. I'll, I'll circle it. I'll circle it. Dash. Alright, impervious. Place the monster five spaces away from the attacker. Webs of icicle form the attacker's skin if they are not wearing any fur armor. Do you have any fur over there? Feather. They are not going to gain a bleeding token. No. No, nothing of minus fur. Feather. But that's it. So maybe I don't. Right? Should I back Who has up? fur all the way over here? Who has fur? She does. But she's got to get out first. She does have fur? Screaming Racers is fur. Ooh. All right. So we're going to do this. So you want me to back up? Yeah. Yeah, back up. Okay, so I already surged over um, here. Wait, I only moved three. So it was eight. Shoot, I forgot where I was. That's okay. okay. Well, I'm taking this back. I'm not doing the dash. Laka is going to shout. Okay. To get Juno up. Juno is then going to spend her action to do madness inversion. Okay. Uh, may spend an action to suffer random brain trauma. Oh, it's a brain trauma? Yeah. I thought it was a disorder. Yeah, me too. But some of these gain disorders. Brain trauma? Brain? Uh, we had two to this. Eight. 
gain a random disorder and what well, lunacy and 1d5 insanity. Oh, that stinks. Yeah. Uh, two, four, six, so three insanity, so I'm at six. So you gain a disorder, and mm -hmm. I get in it. Can you grab another token? Yeah. So I only need three. I know. That's going to be our way to do this, I think. Look how many, he's got 18 wounds left. Hyperactive. During the showdown, you must move at least one space every round. Okay, well that's not too bad either. I don't know. Okay, uh, ba 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 ba, that's that. You come back in the showdown over here, showdown board there. Um, now here's the thing. You actually didn't get to set your insanity to zero though. Because you didn't struggle yet. So I'm back to four. Yeah. Alright, now I think you should shoot with the bow to pull that one card. So I hit on a two, I think. Yeah, you do. Or should you just attack with all three? Pull them. Let's do it. I'm hitting on fours, I believe. Uh, sixes. Because you're not on the face anymore. Oh, right. And you get to one reroll. Uh, that That's is a definitely a reroll. Re okay. All right, three hits. So let's start with the gaunt fingers. So let's see. It's a 17. It's a four plus a six is So you need a ten. seven to wound. So I need a seven to wound. <sighs> Come on, let's get let's get some in here. Let's try the next one. Nine. Yes, all right, that's not a critical. No. But it is a wound. This five. All right, the spiny torso. Place the monster five spaces away from attacker as far from other survivors as possible. One, two, three, four, five. But I can still wound. You can, because you're still within range. Now, this is the cartwheel rough. All right. Uh, it's impervious, so you can't wound this. But you could critically wound it with a 10. Good. We didn't want that to happen. Uh, maybe. All right. Shoot. One. Hey, you got a wound. One, two, three, Do four, five. Do you want to surge and go again? I can go here and knock them that way. Not really, because you, you need sevens to wound. Oh, no, that stinks. I need to be up there. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and get in it. Um, do you surge? Hmm. Mm. Maybe. Because you got a wound, right? We're down to 17. I think every wound's going to count. Gonna count. Right? If this draws out, we're going to die. Yeah, I know. What's the trap? I forget. Okay, so three attacks hitting on sixes. Yeah. All rerolls. One more wound would be great. Two hits. Two hits. There's the trap. And Bad. that is a perfect hit, and I gain an insanity. All right. Bad water. All stars are doing perform basic action targeting the attacker. Okay. Slenderman performs amnesia and snare all survivors except the attacker. Oh, God. All right. Perform basic action targeting the attacker. So, it is his basic action. Oh, boy. So, five, five attacks... Uh, it's going to hit on nines. One. One hit. Okay. Which you can't dodge. So this is for six damage. It's the waste. It's all your armor there. And then knock back seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, Slenderman performs Amnesia. Remove Slenderman from the showdown board. Our survivors gain plus one sanity. The monster will remain from removed from the showdown board until a card or effect returns it. This is that weird thing. Yeah, this is a weird one because now it's just like it. All right, so he's off the board. Now we're ensnared. 
Uh, yeah, then all three of us, not the attacker, becomes ensnared. But we have to roll to see if we're ensnared? Correct. Minus four to the result. So, let's do Laka. Fine. Juno. Ensnared. And Oro has one insanity right now. Come on, high. Seven. Excellent. So we're good. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, we didn't get we didn't get that one guaranteed wound. Off the board. So I think we just want to with people that haven't moved yet, which actually is she hasn't moved yet either. Let's just get closer together. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and the end of your turn you get one movement. I'm gonna move here. Or oh, actually, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go to the bug. Should I go get that bug? I'm just gonna get in the middle. How's that? Mm. Okay. It's the end of the round. Well, not the end of the round. It's a monster's turn. Random insane survivor. Pick target. So I'm assuming this is how he gets back on the board. We have this conversation every time. Um, I believe this is how he comes back on the board. I'm sure no more. Then place it adjacent. Remove the symbol of the number. All stars The monster will remain removed until a card effect returns it. Well, there's no card effect that says return him to the board. Right. I think it would just be his attack now. He comes in. Right? I don't know. That's weird because then he's always going to come in. Why even word it like that? Well, because he disappears and you can't attack him for the rest of the people. Oh. Right? I guess that makes sense. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, because I was going to say a hit location, but I can't hit him if he's off. So this has got to be the way that he comes he back comes in. He comes back? All right. Yeah, because all the other cards are... Yeah. Pick threat, pick threat. I think it's going to be this. That's how we're going to do okay. it. Okay. So, uh, random insane survivor. Uh, was it, did I actually draw this? Yeah. Yeah, it was that one. Uh, lock is fine. Juno's off the board. He's insane. Not. Okay, so it's Dionysus. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. So, over here. Mm -hmm. You gain an insanity. Okay. So you're at six. Perform gloom. Target the attacker. Same thing. Five attacks hitting on nines. So let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Too bad it's not ten. You can dodge one now. Don't worry, I'm going to get no nines or ten. Oh my god. I think I see two nines. Alright, so two hit locations. Alright, the hand of the hand. Well, that's a severe. We dodge one of them. I dodge one of them. And then, yep, a severe roll. And then you suffer bash. ran from the sun. No, no, did we run from the sun? I forgot. Alright. Okay. Arm severe roll. Okay, she is not used to re-roll. Five. Ruptured muscle. A painful rip. The arm hangs limp. You can no longer activate fighting arts. This injury is permanent and can be recorded once. Gain one bleeding token. So, last man standing, leader, and craze. We just want to put like an X through those. And then you become ensnared. So what's your brain is six, six, so you need a ten. Okay, so you are off the board, but his turn is over. Alright, this time moves. What was that called? Yeah. I don't have to, I have to write it down? Ruptured muscle. Okay. Alright, so you're off the board. I think you should probably... Well... Does someone suffer to get you in? 
And then we're at because three. Because we, we should still have you be the one that gets attacked. Well, no, now you have no armor in two locations. But the nines to hit. You still might be the best person I to get know. hit. What is everybody else? Evasion one. Not as good as yours. You have six, two, which is really three. helpful. Oh, Juno's off the board too. Well, shields. No, they won't help. They're not going to help? Attacks? Mm -mm. If I start shielding? Oh, you could. Yeah, absolutely, you could. That's a good idea. Yeah. Instead of attacking? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so maybe I get... Well, I forget what happens when I get three. From all survivors. Another Someone survivor gets a special fighting art. Clarity of darkness. And what's so good about that? You'll see. Oh. So, should I have Juno come in? Should I do another roll with Juno? I'm so sorry. You Oh, you want to test to see. Yes. All right. Yeah, get her, get her out. Get in. her out. Nope. Suffer a bleeding token and remain trapped. But I set my insanity to zero. Okay. So now is, do we spend an action to get Dionysus out? Out? Mm-hmm. And then someone she takes... she has the highest... Mm-hmm. And she could shield. Right. So... Oro could do it? Okay. Or are we keeping... You know, Oro's a good attacker. So maybe Oro goes up and attacks. Like this. And try and get three hits in. Okay. So we're going to hit right now. So we're hitting on fives. We're hitting on fours. Three attacks hitting on fours. Yep. Oh my word. First strike, freezing palm. Go for it. Six, strength, nine. So you need an eight. Two dice. You got it. Eight. Awesome. So it's a wound. Good job. Definitely needed that. And then reflex. Attacker is knocked down. If they are wearing any metal armor... Mm -hmm. They suffer a random severe body injury. Cling. I wish we would have circled it before that. Well. So I have to roll on this table. Yes. And he has used his reroll. Won't matter. Why? You're going to roll all seven. Gaping chest wound. Suffer minus one permanent strength. So you can just do minus one to your strength, and you gain a bleeding token. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. I'm moving up here, and uh, I am going to attack. I thought we are getting someone out. Okay, I'll get somebody out first. So I will do... Madness inversion. Random brain trauma. Oh, brain. Oh, brain. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who is this? This is our club person, Laka. Does she have a reroll? I can't die from the brain. Yeah, if you roll a one or two. We add two to this because we oh. accept darkness. Oh, okay. All right. Do it. Five. Danger seizure. Thrash about Wiley, dealing one damage to yourself and... Very adjacent survivor. I said, I got a typo. Gain one random disorder mm -hmm. and one D5 insanity. Oh boy. One D5. Five. So I'm at six. Okay. Random disorder. So that triggers this. It does. Spiral ganglia. Oh my gosh. Doesn't matter because this is going to go away. What do you mean? There's three tokens now over there. Yes. So it says, when you have three synapses, tokens removed by another ganglia disorder from all survivors. Which I just got. Another survivor of your choice gains the clarity of darkness. Secret fighting art. Archive this card. Okay. Okay, so, do tell. Let me find it. 
what is so amazing that's going to save us from, well, I'm getting rid of spiral ganglia. Clarity of darkness. No, wait, it says a random, oh no, survivor of your choice. Hmm. It's not that great? No, it's great, but it says at the start of the showdown. Which has already passed. Other survivors cannot voluntarily end their movement adjacent to you. At the start of the showdown, gain the Path of Gloom survivor status card. You are not insane unless you have five or more insanity. When you go insane, flip this card to Gloom Man. Holy cow! You cannot be targeted or have the priority target token. Instead, when you move, place yourself anywhere on the showdown board. Gain 1d10 to wound attempts. At the end of your attack, set your insanity to zero. You are knocked down. Then flip this card to Path of Gloom. Yeah, basically you become like the Slenderman. But uh, I just read that, that at the start of the showdown, so it's not going to happen now. So I really don't think we've got a shot at beating him. So who do you think might survive this? Well, when you're only survivor on the showdown board, you may not gain bleeding tokens or be knocked down. All right, we're giving it to Dionysus. She's got a reroll. We're going to start using her for the shield. All right. So I am going to surge now and swing with my hammer. Cartwheel and freezing, freezing hand. hands. Next act. Cancel any remaining. Okay, we're going to do freezing hand. Because the what other one's impervious. What's a metal weapon? It just means that I can't spend survival until their next act. That's okay with me. That's a wound. Oh, I cancel the reaction anyway. 13. Okay. Alright, so we're at 15 wounds now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this just breaks. Oh, I know. People can go over that. That's right. I find it's other. Nope. Archive the terrain. That was helpful. All right. Uh, oh, and Dionysus comes back into play. I thought she has to get herself out. I pulled her out. I pulled oh, her out. right, right, right. Okay. That was the whole thing. All right, so... You could actually attack, because you could always add d10 strength to an attack with that die. I could. So now do you attack with three? Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. Let's do it. So three attacks hitting on Four. sixes, because I'm not on the yep. you got it. special table. All right. I mean, special face. Okay, get, let's get let's get a reroll in there. I'm looking for one hit here. You got the die. This is your chance to do it. Can I surge? Yes. Yes, you can surge. Oh my god. Can you hit this time? Yes. I'm gonna clear these stupids. One. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on. Now we get okay, three. Okay, three. One, two, three. All right. Let's see. Which one do we want to definitely move five spaces away from the attacker? Okay, so that's going to get us as far from other stars as possible. It doesn't say it cancel all hits now out of range, which is good. Ignore this reaction attacking with pistons and two. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to... Block. Yeah, you were. Should have hit that first time. If 
attacking with fist and tooth, otherwise something unseen swallows your weapon. If the attacker is adjacent to the monster, all remaining hits are not cancelled. Okay, we could do that. Okay. Memory lapse. You suddenly find yourself so... Oh, boy. Okay. Well, you could critically wound. Attacker suffers three brain damage. Alright, we're gonna do parts unknown. And I'm gonna use the die. You're gonna, yeah, so you, you get to decide after you roll to wound. Oh. So, so I'm a seven to strength wound. ten. Seven to wound here. Let's see if we can save it. We're going to save it because that's a critical, and that means you set your insanity to zero. Fourteen. Okay. Which means we might be able to get another attack in. What? Spindly torso? Spindly torso. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Seven. Seven. That's a wound. That's a wound. Head reflex. Place the monster five spaces away from the attacker. One, two, three, four. Five. That's where you are right now. Oh, it's far away. So like that. Okay, change it to a one. Okay, we're getting there. Memory lapse. You suddenly find yourself attacking something you've never seen before. Gain three insanity. But, get this. Come on. That's uh, an automatic miss. Why? Because the first time, the first die you roll, if it's a one, it's an automatic miss. Hey, but you got the other two. Failure, ensnare the attacker. Seven minus four, three, you're off the board. Uh, well, Oro, I can't spend any more survival, so this is it. Because you're on the ground. This is it, what? Oh, we gotta go to the monster turn. Okay. This is its legendary card. We were one wound away from getting rid of its legendary card. Pick target. All threats. Slenderman performs basic action targeting all threats one at a time in descending order of insanity. Then ensnare all survivors. Place the monster in the center of the showdown board. Alright. So you are attacking both, uh, well, you're attacking me and then yourself. So five attacks. Hitting on... I don't want to play this anymore. Slenderman's really tough. Uh, fours. Five attacks hitting on fours on Laka. And I can't spend any survival to dodge. This is when I need to roll all those low attempts. Yes, this would be the good time to do that. You hit with everything. That's all, that's great. Five locations. And this is six... Six damage a piece. I'm gonna need a better eraser. Body, body, waist, waist, hand. Waist goes down to two. Here, use the pumpkin. It, it's not gonna matter. Body's gonna get hit with a heavy, and hand. Oh, and waste goes down to a heavy. All right. So I'm rolling for the waste. Five. Warped pelvis. Your pelvis is disfigured. Suffer minus one permanent luck. The injury is permanent and can be recorded multiple times. Gain one bleeding token. And then to the body. Oh, and just to let you know, uh, I forgot that the hammer is sentient, so I can only activate it if I'm insane. 
So I think the first round, I couldn't have fought with it. Does my lock is dead? Um, hmm. Oh yeah, then he then he's gonna attack. Then he's gonna come attack Oro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, two, One, three, two, three. Hits on fives. Two hits. Good job. Body in hand for six damage. I think you're safe, right? Yes, I am. I think, I think it's time to... 13 wounds still? We're not even halfway there. We're gonna get out. I think it's time to get out, because if Dionysus can escape with the clarity, we'll have it in the next fight. Okay. And that means three people will survive, hopefully. Yes. We'll see. Yeah. Alright, now you suffer in snare. Oh. Well, I only have one insanity. Okay. So you should be fine, right? Yes. Goodness. Okay. All right. That's it. He goes to the center of the showdown board. Okay. New round. You stand. Uh, you could action to get Dionysus in. And then surge to get whoever in. And then... What do you mean whoever? Juno. 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 And then they can all try to escape. Okay, so I'm going to action, and then... Suffer a brain. A brain. Oh. Yep. Suffer a brain. Oh, four. Flee. You are knocked down and suffer knocked back equal to your movement towards the closest edge gain, 1d5 and Saturday. Five and Saturday. Dionysus comes into the board. She could shout to get him up and spend an action to get Juno in. She's going to shout to get him up, spend an action to get Juno in. So Five she has this. to roll. Yep. Eight. Eight. So it's ten frenzy. Gain 1d5 insanity, plus 1 speed, plus 1 strength, ignore slow on melee weapons, you cannot spend survival. Great, so that means you won't be able to surge to try and escape. You may not use fighting arts. Alright, this is Dionysus, right? So, 1d5 insanity. Two. Three or five. five. Don't worry about the speed tokens. Uh, we just can't spend survival. Ever? For Just for this fight. So now Juno comes in, and now we can have Juno try to escape, and Oro surge to try and escape. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Are you unless unless you want to keep attacking? No. Okay. I don't. We don't need anything from the Slenderman. No. I don't care. Okay. I didn't want to fight this to begin with. I knew it would be scary. Yeah. I don't even know where I don't know where I am now. Run away. I I man. If the main boss is like this, we're in trouble. But again, these aren't our four best characters. Right. 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 But we are using our four best sets of gear, so. Right. Alright, run away. Uh we're gonna start with Aura. Or Juno. My, okay. Juno during the showdown phase. Five. Five. You try to run, but are knocked down. All survivors lose two survival. Oh, boy. Lose? lose so I survival. can lose it. You can lose it, yes. Okay. Okay. Wait, we're all knocked down? Yes. No. No, we're not all yeah. knocked down. All right, so then now let's I'm get Now I'm going to use my one, yep. so I have to roll. Yep. Get high. Let's get somebody out of here. Come on, Oro. Come on. Something pulls you into the darkness. 
I'm dead. What's a uh, un what's ungodly luck? Unlucky God. Oh. Otherworldly luck. During the hunt and settlement phase. Not the showdown phase. Or I was dead. All right. Uh, well, it's a Slenderman's turn. And I can't nope. spend survival to shield. Lost in memory, place the monster at the center showdown board. Every survivor without the blotted light fighting arc gains plus one sanity and is placed in a different corner of the showdown of the board or as close as possible if there are not enough unoccupied ensnare all survivors. So, I'm sorry, do we gain? We gain one more. And then we roll to see. I'm fine. Oof. No. Not fine. Darn. I have six. All right, so then you go into the dark place. It is my turn. I stand up. Wait, was that his turn? Yeah. Okay. I can try to, get, I'll get you out. Yeah, I'm going to get you out because I want you to be the one that escapes. Okay. So, random brain. 10, 12, Clarity, you are knocked down. Add your current survival to Insanity. And reduce your survival to zero. Gain a random disorder. If you already have three d disorders, you are dead. Juno dies. On a 10? On a 12, yeah. Oh. Clarity, I see all, but that's too much, so I die. Kingdom Death Monster coming to full effect two years before the finale. Can you re-roll? Nope, Juno does not re-roll. I did this so Dionysus could escape. Because you come out no matter what, even if I die. It now rests in your hands. You can't spend any survival, so you only have one. Oh, you last man standing! I can't be knocked down. Can't game bleeding tokens or get knocked down. Run away. Nope. You try to run, but instead crumple over in disheartening yelp. You are not knocked down. All right. So now I have to survive an attack. You do. You ready for this? Not really. Okay. It's a mood. When this comes into play, perform amnesia. Uh, remove it from the showdown board. Whenever a survivor gains insanity, they gain an additional one. Look, he disappears. And that's Wait. a mood, so guess what? He's Maybe. down to 12 wounds. I don't get rid of one. Oh. That's it right there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your turn. He disappeared. You think you're safe. Now's a chance. Think about it. Wipe your nose. Do I get on a six? Something attacks you, suffer the broken leg and broken arm, severe injuries. I already have them. And return to the settlement in shame. Broken arm and broken leg? Yeah. Broken leg. You suffer one brain damage. Suffer minus one permanent injury. What's injury? I mean movement. Oh, so I'm down, so down to three. three movement. And then broken arm, I think, is minus one strength. So for minus one permanent accuracy and minus one permanent strength, gain a bleeding token. You have so you have two broken arms mm -hmm. and another broken leg. And two broken legs. Wow. And you're the best dodge tank we have. That is showing you how much we've abused Dionysus. <laughs> All right. So what sucks is we're only going to have one endeavor. Two. In the settlement phase. Why two? Her and cooking. Only if you're successful do you gain endeavors. 
Oh. We just get one for cooking. Wow. So we'll set up that real quick and do it because it's going to be the event and one endeavor. Okay. It's going to be a pretty short settlement phase. Uh, although, I'm pretty sure we get some some mm. basic resources. Really? From losing? Oh, no. People died. Right. Uh, so, um, I apologize to our viewers who what? might have thought they would have seen a little bit more of an extended Slenderman fight. But we were thinking, oh, hey, let's escape, right? Yeah. Well, when you, def when you lose to a Slenderman... The survivors left never to return. No one remembers. Huh? You can't run from a Slenderman. So Dionysus is dead. I didn't tell you that. I just read it. So we should have kept fighting. So then why don't we go back and set up the board? It's too late. What were we going to do? Get, get through another 13 wounds with three people? Mm-mm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm telling you, Dionysus, she wasn't an endgame character. She had two broken arms and two broken legs. Don't remember her that way. Actually, everyone forgot who she was. We just need to beat the Gold Smoke Knight, all right? I need you to focus on that. We have one fight left. I've gotten word that there's another antelope out there. Oh, yeah. It's true. There is one more left for us to beat. Before we fight this, the, the Gold Smoke. I'm just updating our death count. Four? Right? Yeah. So we are going to... Wow. She, um... Wow, you kept that, you kept that from me. I did. I'm so sorry. They're like, oh, sh which disorder should I get, get to rid include of. this? Yeah, which one? Because she gets this new amazing disorder. I mean, fighting art. Yeah, that's great. How many did we How get? many did you, did you do the death count? No, I here? didn't. No? I just... We get four. I don't need no stupid monster bones. <laughs> Look at that. You want of everything. Love juice is what we need. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Love juice. Too bad Juno's dead. The mama of everybody. Oh, she did. She was... She yeah, was Juno everybody's Oro. mother. Juno and Oro. Yeah, they were making the babies. Hestasius right. now. So we have one endeavor because of cooking. We are updating the timeline. So we are in year 29. Wow. What we have to do... Oh, crud. A random event. Give me a good, My give me a roll. My stomach just sank, because I always seem to forget. Yeah. Four. One, two, three, four. I can't hear it. Cracks. Cracks in the ground? A low rumbling fills the settlement. Small cracks in the earth widen into fissures that belch up hot, foul-smelling vapor. One. Two to five. It doesn't say roll. So it doesn't say roll. Oh, just roll it up. Roll a d10. Well, it would be nice if, like, it said that in the instructions. Seven. Seven. You find a sharp stone in the rubble left from the quake. Gain a founding stone. Oh. The returning survivor with the lowest would have fallen into the crack and died. Didn't, didn't we have this? Maybe? I don't, know. I don't know. I remember someone falling into a crack. Maybe in a different campaign. But we get another founding stone. Excellent. Right? Okay. I'll get that out later. Oh, I Actually, think we have... Do we have two? I think we have two. Yeah. Here's another one. 
Here, I'll just add it to our list. Is that on here? I don't think so. It's in our pile of goodies. Oh, okay. Here's our pile of goodies. All the, our extra gear that we've accumulated. Okay. How many, um, how many survivors do we have? We have a total of Aries, Pele, Aries, Pele, Artemis. We've got Hades. Yep, he's still going. We've got Hephaestus mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Sukunomi. We only have six. Yeah, didn't we have a female? Oh yeah, Hephaestus is a female. Oh yeah, Frigg. Aiden. Aiden, yes. So we have seven survivors. Okay, so... Oof. We do need to make a baby. Well, definitely we need to make a baby. Yeah. Because, oh, okay, I'm sorry. So we have seven right now. Yeah. And this is going to be eight. Yes. Good. So these four survivors are going to go out and we're keeping our main still left back. Yes. Wow. I can't believe we're still... All right. So let's let's make a baby. Okay. So Hephaestus... Hephaestus first is, is going to do scrap smelting. Okay. Because she still has... No, that's he. He? Yeah, I thought it was it. Yeah, Su Sukunomi is the female. Okay, so he is gonna do scrap something. Can I roll? Yeah, sure. Just feel it. He gets otherworldly luck plus one. So I need a nine or a ten, and we can make all of the iron. And the settlement? Yes. Give me a little bit of that. It was a nine. Oh my god. You had a nine in your hand? Yeah, I know. And then you rolled a nine. Is I that know. even on camera? Yes, it is. Okay. It's right there. How much iron do we get to craft? How much is 13? Broken lanterns. And? And just one. regular scrap. Oh, one scrap. So we have 14. Four iron. Four iron. That's not enough, is it? It is. We only needed. Th we need three to craft the weapon. But we're not going to bring the weapon out onto the antelope fight because it is frail. Okay. So we'll craft everything. Just mark down that we have four iron, because if we get a fifth, we get one more from the hunt. We could possibly make another beacon shield. So that means we have two broken lanterns left over. Yes. We needed that. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't do anything. Let's go make some love juice. Oh, you mean... <laughs> Let's drink some love juice. Drink some love juice. Okay. So, <sighs> Stasius has a plus one. Yep. Yep. And who else is... Who's the father? Who's the lucky he man? He is the father. <laughs> oh my god. Sukunomi is the mother. Sukunomi. I should have known better. Because she is our only female besides Frigg. Alright, I'm going to roll, roll for Hephaestus. You're going to roll for Sukunomi. Oh my god. Look at that. Ten. That is beautiful. I would love to actually have... Two babies, but it's a five. A special child. We haven't even had a special child. No. It's tough with survival of the fittest to have a special child. So it's a five. We gain one population. Our last... You got a name on there? Bright. We're going to do Bright. I don't know what goddess that is. but We'll look it up again. But Bright will be our last survivor. Roll it in up. The, in the kingdom death world. What am I rolling? We've for? got a Bright... Her age. Oh, Jesus. Her, yeah, let's hope it's a bright light. Found it. Okay. Eight. Eight. Random fighting art. Stupid. Stupid. Let's hope she pulls yeah. Spiral Ganglia. Well, that was pretty cool. Well, it Does that not go in? No, it's a secret. 
Alright. Spiral ganglia is a disorder. So it's a <laughs> Headliner. Ah, she's bright, right? When you become doomed or gain priority token, you may choose to gain plus one survival and plus one strength. Hey, didn't somebody have this mm -hmm. early on? Yeah, it was. I thought it was. Um, Wasn't it your favorite character in the beginning? Poseidon? No. No. Apollo? No. Uh, maybe it was Poseidon, because Apollo... Yeah, I think it was Poseidon. Wow, do you remember them? No. Apollo, it was like year two or three when you lost him. I know. Yeah, that was, and, then and then it was Poseidon. Poseidon who would have been master. Bleed out from the butcher is what happened to him. Yep. Yeah. Give me another one. Athena, killed by the society, year two. Oh, yeah. Ra, dead, year ten. Hand fight. That's what it says. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, number one. Yeah. Shiva, lion knight, sacrifice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even remember Shiva. That's so messed up. <laughs> All right, so we have two years left. We have a fight against the antelope <laughs> with our four non-final survivors. Excuse me. So that will be. Suganomi, Bright, Hephaestus, and Pele. Pele, <laughs> one-armed bandit. Pele's coming out. Who actually out. has two arms? No, he only has one. Who's the one that I gave? Oh, that was Oro. Whoops. He doesn't have any anymore. He doesn't. Have any. Pele's going out. He just needs to survive the fight, and then we'll all gain the, the mastery, mastery of, of the fist. Yep. So we can't be knocked down. The beginning of our turn or the monster's turn, we can stand. Which is better than, like, waiting a whole round. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. We are on track. This will come out. I'll, I'll start editing. And hopefully we can do some House of Danger this week, too. And, please, no. And next week you'll get a much better clue as to the game that we want oh, to give away. Oh, I told you what it was. And it made sense, didn't it? Yeah, and Did if it, it was like sense? 10 other games, would have made sense too. So don't worry, you'll get a better clue next week. All right, so leave a comment if you want to be the first one to try and figure out what the game is. So when the uh, actual contest comes around to win that game, you'll get an extra entry. Um, did you win the campaign last time? We did. you did. And we destroyed then, the dragon. It was so silly. And then everybody died. Spoilers. Oh my goodness. I'm sure. Uh, please. Oh my goodness. I think that if they've gotten this far in this campaign, they've already watched you in Stats. If not, sorry. Someone's going to leave a comment. And be like, <laughs> At this time, Andrea let it slip, and I'm not going to watch all the episodes now. Oh, stop. Just watch them. All right. Thanks for watching this episode, and we will see you next week to fight a brand new antelope.